Hello and welcome to Combat Ready HQ. Hope you're well. I'm Craig, a former British Army soldier who served for 16 years in the Royal Artillery and the Household Cavalry Regiment. And today we're going to be talking about those guys and girls, but the guys with gelled hair, white vests. That is it, the Royal Armoured Physical Training Corps, and not just your standard PTI, not your standard physical training instructor down at Regiment, Battalion, Squadron. This is the actual Army's Royal Army Physical Training Corps. The SMEs, okay, the Performance Specialists of the British Army. The British Army do it different to the Royal Navy and the Royal Air Force. The Royal Air Force, you can join from civilian into the Royal Air Force and go straight into their physical training core unit, whatever they're specifically called, and then you can go and specialise. The Royal Navy, you then join the Royal Navy. After a couple of years, you can then ask to become a PTI, and then you just go and specifically join their core. Within the British Army, it's worked differently. First of all, you join the army, and depending on your fitness levels, attitudes, and your goals, you can then ask to attempt to become a PTI, so a physical training instructor for your unit specifically. So it's like a level two gym instructor. You are then sort of controlled by the RAPTC, so the Royal Army Physical Training Corps instructor, normally staff sergeant, sergeant, he sort of controls the PTIs within the unit and they help conduct all the physical training sessions for that unit to keep the soldiers in tip top shape. And then like I said, above that, Royal Army Physical Training Corps. So this is the SMEs, as I said, the performance specialist. This is a bit where it becomes similar to the RAF and the Royal Navy. This is where you then go and do a selection. And then if you get selected, you then go and do a course and you actually come under the Royal Army Physical Training Corps. As just as a standard PTI, you still are cat badged at the unit. You join the army in. you're just a PTI for that unit. You still have your main job role to do. Once you transfer across, your job role is basically a physical training instructor for the whole entire British Army, okay? You're the specialist, you're the one that's coming up with new sort of training programs, making sure the SCR's um, up to standard, RFTs, you're sort of contributing to the whole of the performance. So what we're gonna go through today is how you can sort of join them uh, and sort of how the selection process goes and hopefully just open your eyes up to another sort of trade role within the British Army that you may not have heard of. So as I said, they are the performance specialists, okay? They are responsible for developing and maintaining the physical fitness across the army so that individuals and units are prepared for military tasks. They were first formed in 11th of September 1860 as the gymnastics staff, the army gymnastics staff. 1919, they were then changed to the army physical training staff and they sort of progressed to where they are. And they basically just specialize in sort of physical training, adventure training, you know, the physical and mental health of the unit. And how do we join them? So first of all, like I said, you need to apply and attempt the Army's Physical Training Instructors course, okay, AAPTI. You need to become a PTI for your unit. So an example, you join the infantry, you're part of the parachute regiment, you go and do your PTI's course, you pass, you come back, you are still a paratrooper, you're still a parachute regiment, you're just going to become a PTI for your company and your unit and your work under the Royal Army Physical Training Corps staff. So you do that. If you enjoy this role and they see potential, what you can ask to do is then ask to sort of transfer into the Royal Army Physical Training Corps. You will then have to go away and do a week sort of selection. You can be Lance Corporal or above to apply for selection and then to put on the course. It's going to consist of sort of physical assessment. So this is the RFTs at the ground close combat level. So that's at the highest level. So you've got to get obviously the best results. You can't be at the bottom because you'll be in charge for physical training for the army. We were then going to do some sort of command task, uh, IP, which is an individual practice, some sort of group task. And you finish off as well with a sort of an endurance event at the end. At the end of that week, if they like you, you pass the physical assessments and all the other assessments you can then get loaded onto the actual sort of course the course is nine months long uh, and I know they do like you to have some sort of experience so I know a lot of guys and girls who are going for this normally get sent to say Catterick or Per right so they get experience working in a big gym um, to get them ready to go onto the course it's broken down into three terms which is beginner intermediate and a senior term 
and you literally become the SMEs, a specialist. I believe you sort of walk away with a level three PT quote. It's literally learning in-depth biology about the body, how to deliver PT British Army wide, testing and experimenting and carrying out procedures all the way down to funding and leadership because you could be yes you're in charge of the physical training for a unit so you'll be sort of planning the training plan for that week for the unit the month you'll be sort of organizing sports events you could become a ref for boxing and you could then get sent to the Royal Military Academy Sadhurst and become a PTI there and you'd be in charge of physical training for all the office, potential officers. You could be in charge at Perkbright. You could go to any other unit. You could go to all, all any unit has a physical training corps, okay, instructor. But like I said, you also need to be ready and have the knowledge to be able to test and assess and make adaptions if need be. When it comes to pay, they are on the lowest level, the lowest tier. But say you join at Lance Corporal, you will promote quite quickly straight to Sergeant off the back of your course. And promotion I see from what I speak to people is relatively quick throughout the core. You know, if you screw the nut, keep your head down and do your job correctly, you can promote to Staff Sergeant and WO2 relatively quickly, so your pay will increase. Especially going from a Lance Corporal to a Sergeant, it's a pretty good pay increase. Yes, you do get to wear the vest and you do get to jerry hair on a daily basis, so there's another bonus. Once you pass your nine months, you can then go on and actually specialize within this particular area that ROPTC is sort of responsible for when it comes to physical development of personnel across the wider army. You can go more in depth on sort of physical training and you know, a fit, like physical training instructor, that's fitness and education for the army. Do a lot of research, uh, experimenting, and really help develop the physical training to make our tactical athletes better. You could go down the adventure training route, no joke. You can then go and do loads of courses and adventure training and basically just live in civilian civilian clothing and basically just go canoeing kayaking rope climbing hill walking whatever it is AT and sport is absolutely massive and there's got to be people in charge of it and always sort of developing uh, and it's the royal army physical training corps who get to specialize in that if that's your sort of thing you want to go and live up in wales because you love hiking hill walking you could go and sort of do that and then you've got rehabilitation and health okay making sure that the physical uh, the british army do stay in tip-top shape not just physically uh, and mentally but without actually breaking and those that do break go away to specialists and they get that rehabilitation they get that training they and they get better and that's what you can do you can even go physical training route adventure training route rehabilitation and health route overall if you love physical training you love being outdoors doing adventure training or you love helping people rehabilitation uh, and that's your sort of thing that's your buzz then the royal army physical training court is definitely something for you yes you have to join the army first yes you have to become a regimental pti yes you don't have to go and do sort of a selection course and be selected but it's definitely something i think you can try you should try if you're currently not in the army you're in a civilian world you're unsure what you want to do you love physical training, you love adventure training, then I think you should think about possibly joining the army and then going down this route. All you've got to be is a Lance Corporal to apply, so you can do that within a couple of years, two to three years, gain some skills as a PTI, and then you can go down this route. You can then walk away with such good qualifications. I know some in the physical training side get to go away and do degrees. You've got adventure training who go and do some amazing adventure training qualifications, all paid for by the military, or you can become an ERI, ERI and get all paid for all the training, all the knowledge and specialise in rehabilitation. All of these you can take out of military life and go and do civilian life when you leave. So actually, yeah, you may go on to the lower tier of pay, but you get such good qualifications and such good experience. It's definitely worth doing if this is the thing that gets you excited. To summarise, all you've got to do is join the army, have a love of physical training, be fit, be in that top one 10% within your unit. Say, look, I'm interested in becoming a PTI, maybe going down the RAPTC route later on. Go and do your PTI course. It's nine to 10 weeks long. Get a nice basic understanding of the body. Walk away with like a level two gym instructor's um, qualification. Go and train at your unit. Train the soldiers. See if you still enjoy teaching, instructing, taking those lessons. 
um, see what the uh, Royal Army Physical Training Corps sergeant, staff, sergeant, judges, whoever is part of the unit, see what they're doing in the office, speak to them, watch them, look at them, see if that's what you want to do, making the training programs for the units, organising sports events, put in an interest to go and do this. You can then go and do the selection, see how you get on, hopefully you get selected, and then go away and do the nine month course. And then afterwards you can specialize in either physical training, adventure training, or rehabilitation and health. I think it's an absolute brilliant unit with some brilliant people in, um, and I highly recommend it. And hopefully this has opened your eyes to another role within the British Army and the military that you may not have heard of. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let us know your thoughts, and I'll see you soon.